first division from Shamrock Rovers. Now Longford perhaps expecting the long throw. They've dropped off. They allow Galway to take the quick one, but maybe the away side didn't make the most of that opportunity. Oshin O'Reilly maybe not taking as much care with the pass as he should. Here comes a long throw, though. An early tester for the town defence, and the referee has spotted an infraction, so it's going to be a free out, but that was a, a goal-bound header there. Big piece of defending there from Louis Temple. He's played every minute since arriving at uh, Longford Town in the summer window. He's really excelled, especially when you consider he's still a teenager. Just 18 again, Longford Town allowing Galway to take the short and quick throw in. It's whipped into the Longford Town penalty area. Oh, and there was plenty of bodies in there for United, but it is headed over at the back post. An early let off here for the whole camping in the Longford Town half. Throw in after throw in. It was a long throw, remember, in the playoff game last season as well in the second leg that cost Longford. So. It has been a real thorn in their side against Galway in seasons gone by. Here's McCarthy again with a cross towards the back post. And it's another let off for Longford Town. For the away side, a ball up towards Christian McGerson. He's just made them nervous for a moment or two there. McGerson, the ball breaks the way of Jordan Adeyemo. Galway appealing for handball, never going to be given. Adeyemo looking for support now. He's got Elworthy coming, he goes inside. Here's Wickstead. Can he get a shot away? He can't took a deflection. Flash is just wide. Brendan Clark was worried. There is, oh, and the referee is going over to the touchline. Not the first time we've seen this this season. Uh, a member of the Galway coaching staff receiving a book, and John Caulfield is the man that receives the card there. And he's very, very animated for, um, for a manager that's only watched 15 minutes of football. Um, he has been booked. O'Brien swings it in low. It's a really poor ball from O'Brien. Everyone back for Longford Town, everyone inside the penalty area. Most of them inside the six-yard box at that. A lot of traffic in front of Jack Brady here. Looks like it's going to be McCormick to take. Indeed it is. McCormick towards the front post. Oh, and that could have gone absolutely anywhere. It was a really teasing ball from Conor McCormick. But Brendan Clark, a couple of excellent balls up, causing real pro problems for Longford in the last few minutes. Yeah, it, uh it really does help when your keeper can distribute the ball well and he's starting attacks from the back really well. O'Reilly. This is back across the six-yard box. Oh, and there's a free header inside the six-yard box for Killian Bruder. Box and that just hasn't been on that level, unfortunately, as of yet. McCormick steps forward for Galway. Spreads the ball out wide to O'Connor. McCormick drops into a pocket, crosses it in towards the washer. He got his head on it. Flag was up on the far side. It was an easy catch in the end for Jack Bray. Robbed the Bray goalkeeper inside his six-yard box for an easy tap-in. So they know exactly what's coming when they have the ball at their feet. McGerson is going to charge you down. And essentially, that worked for McGerson as one love for town. This free kick. Wickstead. Oh, it's Louis Temple. Just a couple of yards out. What a wonderful opportunity for Longford Town. We've commented that maybe... Kevin O'Brien almost trotted on the ball there, just got stuck under his feet for a moment or two, but he shifts it back to his goalkeeper, Brady. Moves it on to Dylan Hand. Wickstead in a little pocket. Able to turn and get it out to Dil uh, out to Kyle O'Connor. O'Connor down the channel for Adi Amo. He's got McGerson inside! Christian McGerson, 1-0! What a goal. McCormick. Usher and Lombato into the danger area. Corner floated in. Towards the back post, another free header. I think it was O'Reilly. He was facing the wrong way at the time, though, so it wasn't an easy one. We were talking about the quality of the goal, how quickly Longford moved from one end of the field to the other, and he has been that link so far. Lovely link up between Wickstead and Kyle O'Connor. O'Connor has beaten his man. Carries it into the penalty area. Here's Adeyemo, shot off the left, it'll run through to the back post for Elworthy. Elworthy gets it back in there, two goal players go for the one ball. This is chaos! Nobody able to get a hold of it. Back position, Durban's gone into the uh, centre of the park where we're used to seeing McCormick, but Conor McCormick playing right back in this second half for Galway. Hurley, up towards Walsh. Hurley, that's a lovely ball through to McCarthy. McCarthy with a shot off the right, but straight down the barrel of Jack Brady. I have to say, arguably here the captain. He gives the signal. McCormick whips it in. Oh, it's almost on the head of Slevin. Will it fall to Bruder? Walsh looking to pick up the loose pieces. 
Clearance goes as far as Harley. Harley gets to the end line, crosses it in. Oh, and there's a volley. It's down into the ground and over the bar. Eight on it, maybe not too much length on the clearance from Brady. That's taken control of by Victor Sardeniuk. He's been really tidy in the middle for Longford Town this evening. Adeyemo inside to Elworthy. Elworthy's won it here for Longford. He tries to find Christian McGarson. That was a really good opening for the town. That's excellent forward play again from Shane Elworthy. Connor, but Galway come away with possession. Hurley opens the pitch up with the ball out to Oshin O'Reilly. O'Reilly towards Lombato, but Gavin Bruder got, or Gavin O'Brien got first run on him, but Lombato's won it back. Good turn of pace. He's gone down in the penalty area. He was looking for it there, Lombato. Referee shakes his head. Lombato gets to his feet and regains possession for Galway. And more pressure for Longford to try and withstand now as Galway take a quick throw in. O'Reilly plays it inside. Overhead effort from Walsh, gathered by Brady. Wow. Oh, and that ball has found a Galway man inside. It was Rob Slevin. And there's a late challenge here on Jack Brady. And the temperature gauge is definitely spiking here in the last couple of minutes. He's peppered the Longford Town penalty area all evening with these long throws. McCarthy, here's another one now. Elworthy, good header. Durvin, he's made a mess of it to say the least. But here's a shot on goal. Oh, this is a heroic block inside by Dylan Hand. He took it right in the chest. Long range effort there. Adiemo half chance down this end. Ball bouncing around like a pinball in there. Hurley to take the corner for Galway. In towards the front post. Great header again from a Longford Town defender. I think it might have been Dylan Hand. McCormick chips it inside. Oh, what a tempting cross from McCormick. But Longford Town again. They have that extra man there to make the intervention. Sublime ball in from McCormick. He wanted the short one, but Harley's going to go into the penalty area with this corner again. This time he goes towards the back stick. He's headed back across the goal. Surely this time for Goa. Blocked away again. Another corner, three in a row. <laughs> Surely this pressure is going to tell after a while. The original corner, Jack Brady actually makes a really good save because it comes through a lot of bodies. And this one is no different. Here we go again with Hurley. Into the middle of the area this time. There's a header from Walsh. Has it crossed the line? No, it hasn't. What a save from Jack Brady. I this is like a rewind of the... He's got two Longford Town players to beat. He got around Gurgi for a moment. He wasn't getting around Shane Elworthy, the skipper. Boudiaf into Elworthy. Forward to McGarson. Here's the pacey Boudiaf. Boudiaf, too much pace on his pass, but he's been caught late. Really I didn't see that one myself, but I can tell by the reaction of the supporters. Yeah, it was Durbin. definitely a late tackle, and it's A. Durvin, who's really players around them. He moved them around like chess pieces. He's got that vast experience at a much higher level than this, of course. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, and that's going to be very important. Manley racing in on goal. Rob Manley's in one-on-one. -on -one. Brady got something on it. Oh, it's trickled wide. That touch from Brady proved crucial in the end. Remarkable save. Unbelievable save. You're thinking for all the world. Here is Tarmi. Lays it off to Walsh. Walsh! Oh, good pair of hands from Jack Brady. Nasty collision with the net there for Darren Clark, who thought he was going to be nodding that one in, only for the intervention of Brady. Bastian Heary taking a bit of a chance there against A. Durvin. A good ball into Duna. Nice footwork from Duna. Oh, it looked like the chance was just opening up for the shot. It might open up though for Bastian Heary. He finds Duna. Boudiaf, Longford Town, remaining patient. Boudiaf around the corner. Oh, it's a brilliant interception by Rob Slevin. <laughs>